This is the Horse Radio Network. Greetings, everyone. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily, episode 1413, brought to you today by Purina Senior Horse Feeds and Purina Senior Active Horse Feeds. Today's tip is an excerpt from the Certified Horsemanship Association episode on Horses in the Morning, where Christy Landwehr chats with Shauna Koresh about combining positive and negative reinforcement training methods. Is it a good idea or not? And we'll get right to our tip after we hear from Purina. You have an older horse that's trying to age gracefully? Trust the future with your old friend to the number one equine vet recommended senior feed. Purina Equine Senior and Senior Active Horse Feeds are backed by unparalleled research to support the unique needs of horses as they age. Both patented feeds include active age prebiotic technology to support immune function, mobility, and appropriate metabolic response in aging horses. Plus, now with the Outlast supplement built in, they also support your horse's gastric health and comfort. Purina Animal Nutrition, they're years ahead in senior research, so you can have more good years with your horse. Put their research to the test at horseinnovation.com. That's horseinnovation.com. So what is the difference between using positive reinforcement methods and combining positive with negative reinforcement? How does that work? Okay. Well, that's a... um that's a slippery slope, really, because it's it, what I call it. I call it negative reinforcement or traditional training with a cherry on top, because it is using you're using the fight or flight part of the brain. You know, you're activating that part. You're producing cortisol. You're doing just by the very nature of, of how pressure release works in a horse. It lights up that part of the brain. You know, we just know that now. So. So as you do that, you are kind of tapping into a different part of the brain, and then we're adding the food on top. Well, that can actually be for some, for a fair share of horses. Some horses deal with it okay. Some horses keep it under wraps, and you don't really realize how they're they're truly coping with it. And then some horses, it just it, it shoots them the other way. So I, I liken it to because it's inconsistent. They're going. Am I involved in this? Is there something in it for me or is there not? You know, so you have them kind of back and forth, not knowing, you know, who's showing up today. You know, it's like, in, you know, the Wizard of Oz. Is it the good witch or the bad witch? You know, they don't <laughs> know which one is going to be there today. Are they going to get corrected for something they've done or are they going to get something for something they've done? So there's been a lot of studies that have really shown that combining the two is not a good way to go at all. But there's also, and, and it's very risky, and it's not in the best interest of your horse's welfare, but there's also something different besides combining the two, and that is like working with a crossover horse. So a horse who has learned one way, because let's face it, that's what most of them are, they've learned one way, but we want to now introduce positive reinforcement and move forward using more positive reinforcement. So that is different to me than combining. Combining, I'm thinking about the training process we're using. So with when we're crossing over, the past training process is the past training process. There's no, you know, that's just what it is. And where how I make a judgment, I think, okay, I watch a horse carefully who comes to me and I think what, okay, where do you have issues? You know, if you're great with your halter going on, no big deal. I'm not going to go back and and retrain that you already know it and you don't seem to have any apparent uh, you know you're not showing your 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 nose doesn't get tense your lips don't get pursed you know or whatever those pieces are that I look for that tell me underneath it all how are you feeling and I just move forward I will start reinforcing it randomly so that I'm building a new improved reinforcement history with the task so they think I love my halter as opposed to I tolerate my halter but so that is quite, and so then I move forward with that. Sometimes a lot of things are really good, but I'll notice that, you know, mounting is a problem. Okay. So now I have to kind of pull this piece apart and figure out where and what, and maybe I'm going to reshape that piece and maybe start over with that piece. It typically goes much quicker because they know what it is, but I'm ensuring that I'm building the, the right reinforcement history. And then moving forward, if I'm going to choose a behavior, like let's say I'm saying trailer loading. I'm going to think, okay, I'm not going to mix pressure release and positive reinforcement. 
I don't find that to be a good way to go. But I will choose which one I'm going to do and stick with it through that particular task. So, you know, so I would think, you know, for me, of course, I go positive reinforcement, but I give them choices and I, I would I would work through that in that nature. So I wouldn't combine them in the training process of training something new. I'd really focus on on which piece I want to do. And I think once people start using the positive reinforcement, they start seeing the changes in their relationship and the horse. So they tend to choose it more and more. But it's it's really, you know, it's it really wanting to meet people where they are, to be honest. That makes sense. Very much so. And that about wraps it up for today. You can find lots more tips at horsetipdaily.com. You can also download the free Horse Radio Network app for your iPhone or your Android. That way you'll have your podcasts with you wherever you go. This is Coach Jen, and I will be back again soon with another tip. Until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show.